Okay, how y'all doing today? Shit, whoa. Uh, Welcome to another episode of um, What You Talk About with Dre James. I am your host, Dre James. Dre King James. Because that sounds marketable. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm just having a ball. Uh, on my day off and I go back to work tomorrow and I got me a fucking okay this is my schedule I work for Frito-Lay and my schedule was quite nice really you know okay I start tomorrow Friday and Saturday I hit the BJ's and then <laughs> BJ's I, you know back in the day we made fun of the name BJ's cause it's blowjob anyway I started the BJ's and I work at the commissary, right? Now, the commissary is on the Army base. I had to go to the uh, visitor center so they could put a, like a like an access pass on my driver's license. So, you know, I sold my driver's license to the fucking MP there and then they, they, they scanned me in. That's how, I can, that's how I can go on base. But, um, yeah, I had the BJ's in the commissary. It's Friday and Saturday, tomorrow and Saturday, and then Sunday is like my semi-easy day, but it's like, it's my more lax day, you know, this is Sunday. Sunday is my lax day, which is, I hit the commissary first, um, and then I have two food lines I have to do, but in them food lines, I'm only there for an hour, because I don't have no order coming in, so Basically, I check the back stock, see if I can use some of that shit. If I don't, I just front the aisle, make it look pretty, and I do that for both food lines. You know, I'm in, like, like I said, I'm in both food lines for um, an hour, a, a piece, and then I go home. Uh, so that's that's like my first short day. Then Monday is my ooh, that's my busy day right there. It's not really hard. It, it, this job is not hard for me now because you know I've been, um, I think I, I've been with Frito Lay almost a year, so I'm I, I'm pretty much used to it. So it, it's not really a hard job on Mondays. It's just busy. <laughs> it's just very busy. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I I hit the Walmart. You know they send me six carts of product. Which is a lot, but it's not. It's it's very, you know, six cars is manageable, but um, as as long as you have your own like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's uh, as long as you have your own little process of how to do all six carts. I think you should be fine, or I'm I'm fine with them. I'm just speaking for myself, but uh, and then I hit the commissary for Monday, then. Tuesday is my that's that's my easy day, that's my easy short day. Sunday is my easy lax day. It's just relax. Tuesday is my easy day because I only do like Walmart, and then I get to go home. You know what I'm saying? So from Friday to Tuesday is my work week. And then I have off Wednesday and Thursday. You know what I'm saying? And having off Wednesday and Thursday after. Me having a job where I just work Monday through Friday, have off Saturday and Sunday. Having my days off Wednesday and Thursday, my weeks go by very fast. It's 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 weird and it's amazing at the same time. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, so Friday is my Monday and then Tuesday is my Friday. <laughs> But anyway, no nah, man, everything is going good. It's, it's been a while since I've um, actually been podcasting, just you know, like talking random shit. That's the point of the title of the podcast. What's to talk about with Jay James? I'm on Apple, Spotify, <laughs> iHeartRadio, whatever. Said mainly all the po- uh, podcasts besides Stitch. I think I'm on Stitcher. Am I on Stitcher? I don't think so. Anyway, yeah. Fuck it. I'm on Spotify and Apple. That's all you need to know. Oh, and and um and Google. I'm on Google now. Since and man, I, it's I, it took me five years to um sister distribute my podcast over on Google because they, I don't know. I was confused as hell because it's easy on Apple, and I'm and 
and Spotify is my main platform for this show. So it was easy to um, just to extract the data from Spotify over to Apple because all you got to do is just highlight the fucking podcast link or, or what have you. But I don't know. But then I actually figured it out on Google. And it, yeah, my podcast on Google. So her over there, go over there and hit follow whatever or uh, wherever podcast platform you listen to shit on. Yeah, give me a follow. <coughs> Excuse me, I burped. Man. I had a a pickle. I went to Seven Eleven today and I had a fucking uh, little snack bag. I I got me um some, uh, some Arnold Palmer half and halves. Had uh, like a bag of chips, uh, the ruffles. Them ruffles, man, they hit different because it's thicker. And uh, then I, uh, I got some. Um, what the hell, I got? It was a pickle, uh, some some ruffles, potato chips, and yeah, yeah, and and, and Arnold Palmer, fucking half and half. And that was my little light lunch, I guess. I should say, I don't know, but. <laughs> But anyway, when I think I'm going to change up the uh, process of the podcast, I think I'm going to like have the show based on a run sheet. Like I'm going to make me an outline of what I should think about because, oh, excuse me, I'm going to, I should have an outline for what I'm going to say, you know, so I have my thoughts uh, uh, together because I think that really helped me. Because usually on previous episodes, I says free ball everything. And um, as I don't know, it's just me free balling. I, I don't know if you noticed that. I, I, I tend to ramble a lot, <laughs> like when I free ball. So I think um, next week going forward, I think I'm going to you know type me up an outline of shit that I, I want to say. I think that will help me out. Yeah, because I do have a um, a habit of like rambling and mumbling and shit. Well, not really mumbling, but rambling on and on. You know, you know ramble. When you ramble, shit, that's like reading the paragraphs and they got a couple run-on sentences. You know what I'm saying? Got a couple run-on sentences don't make sense. Like I I, I do go off topic a lot. But anyway, that's why the show is called What's to Talk About? Because that's the whole premise of the show. But um, I think one time, th- um, excuse me, what, what was I going to say? Um, this thing I have to say, I bought two games yesterday, and it cost me around 200 bucks. I bought um, Star Wars Outlaws, and I, I bought the Ultimate Edition. That was like $135, I think. And then I bought Wukong, Black Milk, the Wukong, the fucking Monkey King. And, um, yeah, I'm all set for this month, man. Because those are the only, those are the only fucking games that, that I'm fucking, <laughs> those are the only games that I want to play for this year. And I think I'm going to beat them. I think I'm going to beat both of them, really. Even though, um, I don't know, Black Mirror, Wukong, I saw um, some some videos on YouTube about those games, and I was like, oh, shit. Those games are probably, well, hold on. No, I didn't. Let me, let me go back. That game, when I saw the uh, the previews and the, and the gameplay videos of that game, and one of those people that provided commentary on the videos that I've watched based on that game, they they said that that Wu Kong is pretty much like a like an action RPG. It is it will be challenging. It, it's not going to be like a Souls game. Is 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 probably going to be like the the same um, gameplay mechanics as the Star Wars Jedi Survivor or. Um, a Jedi Fallen Order, I think was well, I think that's the, the first game of it. I think it's gonna be like that. I was like, oh okay. I played those games before. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So I'm all cool with that. You know, so uh, it I uh, so they're gonna make that game a little bit easy. 
And it's, it's not going to be hard like an Elder Ring or a Dark Souls. It's, it's going to be challenging, but it, it, it's not going to be hard. You know what I'm saying? So, that's good. And then with um, Jedi Outlaws, I, I, I got... Well, first of all, it's Star Wars. So, it, it, it had me since... They said Star Wars Outlaws. I was like, oh, damn, another Star Wars movie. You know what I'm saying? Star Wars movie. Game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even though I wasn't really you know, feeling the Jedi Fallen Order games and the, and the sequel. You know what I'm saying? But uh, hopefully I'll, like, I will get into those games. Uh, but um, I like them. But I didn't like them at the same time. Uh, excuse me but um I think my favorite Star Wars game uh, ha- 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 it have to be um the set the one with Star Killer in them um set what's the name of that set Alexa what is the the name of the Star Wars game with Star Killer according to an Alexa Answers contributor Star Killer Born Galen Mark, and also known as The Apprentice, is the fictional protagonist and Darth Vader's secret apprentice of the Star Wars, the Force Unleashed video games and Force Unleashed. part of the now non-canonical Star Wars Legends. Thank you, Alexa. It's the Force Unleashed, and then you know the, the, the sequel. That was my favorite Star Wars game ever. And even that game was kind of challenging in the way. You know what I'm saying? But um Man, so these these Star Wars games hit different. I swear. I think the game I didn't like was um. Oh man, it, it was the 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 most recent game when they made a game that you had the dog fight in space. I I, I didn't like that one. I think that game was trash. <laughs> but I, I mean, I I like Rogue Squadron back in the game. Uh, excuse me, uh, back in the day. Uh, that shit was awesome. That was so amazed. I was like, shit, Rogue Squadron. Hold on. Alexa, what year did Star Wars Rogue Squadron come out? The video game Star Wars Rogue Squadron was released in 1998. I was in high school. It's in 98. 1998. I was a sophomore in high school. Damn, that was a long time ago. But yeah, that's what I like. I I love that game. I I can't tell you what happened because it was 98. <laughs> I told you I was a, I was a sophomore in high school. That was a long time ago. But I I remember that was, that was my favorite Star Wars game. Um, well at least one of them. Then there was um. Uh, Jedi Academy, I think it was, where uh, you was under the tutelage of Luke Skywalker, apprentice. I think you was training in his temple, I think. I think. I don't know. I never did play Kotar, Knights of the Old Republic, I, but I heard that game was amazing because of the customization of everything, of your clothes to your lightsaber, because you can actually be like, um, or uh, you can actually align yourself with the light side of the force, like a Jedi or a Sith. I think I, I beat myself up with that. I didn't. Oh, shit. I, hold on. I just remember on Steam, you can play that game for free. I think. Hold on. Let, let me go on. Hold on. I got I to gotta fat check myself because I think you can play. Um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic for free. Where's the search bar? Here it is. Here it is. Star Wars. The, the Old Republic? I think it. Oh, that's the Old Republic. But hold on. Knights of the Old Republic. Oh. Well, well Knights of the Old Republic is only 10 bucks. Oh, man. And I can play it on PC. Oh shit! Let me hold. Let me put this in my cart. Shit! Fuck it! Fuck it, baby! Fuck them! Double, double. Where is it? Oh, at the cart. Wait a minute. What is this? What the fuck is this? 
Oh, they got a bundle. It's it buy Star Wars complete a, a collection where you got oh, so it gives you Battlefront Two, um, Republic Commando, Starfighter, of course, Knights of the Old Republic. Then you got Dark Forces, Dark Forces Two, Mysteries, Mys- Mysteries of the Sith, and then you got. Jedi Alka. Oh, that's another Star Wars game that I like. Jedi Alka was actually good. Oh, man. What the fuck is um, the Old Republic? Because I never heard that shit before. Hold on. Hold on. It was Star Wars. The Old Republic. It's free on Steam. On, um, oh, damn. What do you do? Um, Old Republic. Oh, damn. They got some cool graphics. Since it's free, shit, I can... Hold on. Oh, it's already in my library. Okay. Oh, damn. Then the graphics look modern. It came out in 2011. Oh, damn. This is good. The Over Public is a free-to-play MM... Oh, it's an MMO. Oh. It's an MMO that puts you at the center of your own story-driven saga... Play as a Jedi, Sith, Bounty Hunter, or one of the other iconic Star Wars world. Okay. So, so it's like a Final Fantasy game in the Star Wars universe. Oh, okay. That's awesome. I'll probably play that later. Shit. <laughs> but yeah, I, mean, I, always, I always was a sucker for Star Wars games. You know what I'm saying? Even though the, the movies kind of disappointed me because they should have did so much with the movies. I swear, it, it was like... I, I don't want to say they they put a too much wokeism in it since they did because how they put strong emphasis on Ray because he's a woman and and I I, I thought the, the black dude was going to be the main character because I, that's what I thought it was going to be based on the first trailer of the the last three of the of the the first of the last three of the movies. I thought the black dude was going to be the, like the main one, but it, it turns it was a bait and switch, and and they just plopped Ray in, excuse me, Ray in it, which I have no problem. I mean that's fucking uh, spoiler alert, but it's been years since the last three Star Wars movie has has been watchable on in the theaters. Um, Ray is Palpatine's granddaughter. But uh, but Luke Skywalker adopted her, so she's a Skywalker. <laughs> she was she once was a Palpatine. Now she's a Skywalker now. But I oh don't know, man. It's it, it was they they said it did a little bit more with the the last the seven eight nine of the Star Wars saga for the films. I I was like these is fucking half-assed that shit for a cheap pop. And, and I, I think everything of those last three movies was cheap as hell. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just, it didn't hit hard enough like the original six of the Star Wars saga. You know? Even, even the prequels was better than the last three videos. I mean, the last three films of Star Wars. Me personally, my favorite of the prequels was three, because I always wanted to see how Anakin Skywalker turned into Darth Vader. Was you know I, I had some closure on that. Thank you, George Lucas, on that. But I think it's because George Lucas wasn't involved in the making of those three last movies. It was um, uh uh uh, uh Mrs. Kennedy, Kennedy. <laughs> um, um, but uh. I think what's her name? Uh, Diane Kennedy, <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy. I think that's her name is. That's the new president of Lucas Arts. Man, that bitch. I think she stole that. Her. I, I think she stole uh, Lucas Arts away from um, George Lucas. That's what I think. I, I think she wanted the the helm of the operations of the business and have George Lucas be a figurehead, you know, founder of the company. 
But I, I think George Lucas, I think he's all right. He's still getting money because that's his IP. He, he's the creator of it. So I, I'm thinking, yeah, he still get a percentage of the proceeds because he's he's the one. Plus, he's white, so I know he's I know he's still gonna get some money for that shit. You know, that's white privilege. <laughs> but uh, I sorry about that. I sound woke. I apologize for that. <laughs> I know. Yeah, half of y'all white people don't want to hear our fucking problems as black people because I've been cause hearing that shit from us for years, and I think it shows that most of white people is like, "Oh Lord, here's the black fucker. He's he's talking about it needs to be equality and shit. We know this. We've been hearing this for years. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying?" But I, that's why I, th- I don't think there is racism out there. But I think is I don't know why I jumped from Star Wars to this. So bear with me. This is what I think about everything. I think it's like when oh shit, I forgot my strength of thought. God damn, what's to talk about, Dre James? I have no clue. <laughs> but um, uh, excuse me, I got gas. Um. Uh, Ugh, shit. I'm sorry. Burped in the mic because I blessed it. Anyway, um, what, what was I about to say? God damn. I forgot. I, I was going to say something about what, wokeism and white people. Okay, this is what I think. Um, they are get, getting sick of us ex- you know, complaining. I think that's what it is. I, I, don't, think, I don't think it's much of racism now from white folks to black people I think it's like a we are ignoring them based on our complaining but uh, can you blame us for complaining I mean even though we're not being that oppressed anymore um in, in retrospect, as the '60s, but, uh, uh, we not being that much oppressed from white people as opposed to the '60s. There, that's what I was trying to say. But if you, you can see the the uh, the trauma that y'all white people put us through, and y'all did it for so long. That generational um, mindset of mental instability it passed down from generation to generation and it's like y'all have scarred us severely from that shit that's why when something happens to us it's like oh say righty is fucking depressing us Whitey don't like black people. Whitey doing this. Whitey doing that. It's like, uh, 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 can you blame us f- for us feeling that way? And of course, white people don't understand because they haven't been in our struggle. You know what I'm saying? We have been marginalized for the past 800 years. And. We, if we had to carry the burden of that trauma from racist white people and it, that and that trauma carried out on us for generations and you can tell that it fucked our mental health up so when white people though care about our struggle they haven't lived it that's why they, they like how come you just can't forgive and forget you know what I'm saying we can't we can't you know and especially today it's like the 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 thickness of racism today is like so microaggressive it's not like outright like back in the 60s and you know earlier it's basically like that microaggressive behavior 
that's fucking ignore like it's it's very annoying from white people because either you know it's based off ignorance now you know how the fuck you gonna stand by us but you don't know what we've been through or, or you stand by us because it's the right thing to do no nah, you need to actually research and just understand our struggle for for y'all to stand with us if you are a supporter but it is what it is I don't know how I jumped from fucking Star Wars to racism. I swear. <laughs> Yo, man, this is fucking. That's crazy shit. Hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me drink my uh, my Arnold Palmer from Arizona Balling Company. <sighs> you know, as I look at this can. Again, I'm drinking a, a canned Arizona Arnold Palmer. And you remember back in the day, like a couple years ago, these shits was 99 cent. Now it costs a dollar thirty nine, like a dollar forty. I'm like, what the fuck? A dollar forty for for something that used to be um. For something that used to be priced at ninety nine cents, I'm like, oh damn! I used to, I used to buy three of them motherfuckers. It was ninety nine nine cents. That's it. Was like that my go to drink for the summertime. But Arnold Palmer, well, it was, I didn't go to the Arnold Palmer like first. It was the mango drink from Arizona. Oh man, that mango hits. That mango hit like a motherfucker. It was mango fruit punch. Um. Uh, even the ginseng green tea was good because I don't think that was my first Arizona drink but uh there's something about that Arnold Palmer yo when it's real cold and you've been working outside <laughs> I remember I used to be a a, a contractor at BGE uh, I used to work for this company I forget the name of the company though but um it, I used to check their meters because it was a big project where uh, they had to update in, in Baltimore. They had to upgrade the analog electric and and gas meters from electric. I mean, excuse me, from what the fuck it was. Um, damn. Analog to the electric meter. Oh man, we used to stand in that heat because you know the meters are outside or in the basement, but um, but but pretty much some shit was outside. Oh man, humidity. We went to a gas station. I got a fucking Arnold Palmer half and half, and that in that gas station, that refrigerator was so cold. It was like drinking that shit from that refrigerator. It was good as hell. I mean, the, man, that's how hot it was. It was it was so refreshing, but it was like ninety nine cent at the time, and I kind of miss those days, man. Certain prices back like it wasn't too long. It was probably like five years ago. It was like ninety nine cent. I don't know, but um, damn, that shit was crazy. But anyway, um. I, it's, it's about that time for me to clock out of here, man. Don't want to, you know, talk too much. I always make my podcast like probably thirty minutes, but uh, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Peace out.